Hey guys, this is Mrs. Craig. I am doing a tutorial, just a little bit of a review on pun and squares and probability. And the title of this presentation is, yes, it's hip to be square. So be great. The next section here is the actual Punnett square. Punnett squares are used to predict the genotypes and phenotypes of the offspring. And you use the parent's genotypes to figure this out. It is usually a window box like this. It can be two by two or it can be a lot larger depending on how many traits you are crossing. Genotypes are letters used to express the genetic makeup of an organism. They can be um, either purebred dominant, they can be a hybrid, or they can be purebred recessive. The phenotype is something that is the physical appearance of the organism. So when you are charting for their traits, it's what they look like. So in these two pictures, we are going to be comparing eye color, brown eyes to blue eyes. So the actual look would be the physical appearance. The letters, on the other hand, are their genotypes. Um, the first thing you need to do is determine the genotypes of the parents. So what we're going to do is we are going to cross a hybrid with a hybrid. So these are the two letters sets, two alleles, one from each parent, a mom and a dad, a mom and a dad. Next thing you do is you actually write down the cross so that's given. So we have a hybrid parent crossed with a, another hybrid parent for that trait. The next step is to actually create the Punnett square. So it is usually a box divided into four so that one parent goes here and another set of parents go there. So what you're going to do is you're going to split the genotypes. So we had a hybrid so one of the letters goes in one of the boxes the other letter goes in the other, and that is one parent. You do the same on the side. It does not matter which parent goes on which side as long as the alleles stay together. At that point, you have to determine what the possible genotypes of the offspring are. So what we're doing is we're filling in our boxes. The easiest way to do this is the guys on top fall down. So this big B is going to fall down. The little B is going to fall down. And then we do the other parent. So the guys on the side, I always say, run across. So this guy's going to run across in each box. And this guy's going to run across in each box. Now, each one of these boxes have different sets of alleles or letters. There is a purebred dominant. And here, I don't know if you notice, the letter little b, big b, the little b becomes for the big b. It doesn't matter. Remember in class, as long as there is a big dog in the box, that will be the winner. So it doesn't matter what order it comes in. And here it is a dominant first. And here is our purebred recessive. So at this point, then you summarize your results. There were three genotypes. There was a purebred dominant, there was hybrids, and there were purebred recessive. It was a 25% chance, a 50% chance, and another 25% chance. And the phenotypes, if they were big B, big B, they had brown eyes. Big B, little b were also brown, and the other option for our recessive were blue. So there we have our genotypes, which are our letters, and our phenotypes, which are our looks. Hope that helped. Hope this helps you study for your final, and if you need any more help, come in and see me after school. Thank you.